Hi everybody, this is Neha and I am back here again with new series of Chakrasan. I have already made one series and few videos on Chakrasan in the past. I am sure you have practiced and you have found the difference also. But recently I figured out few more drills and techniques which I think is going to help you a lot to get better at your back bends as well as Chakrasan. So let us try these 5 days together and you tell me how do you feel. And if you are new to my channel, do subscribe and also click a bell icon right next to it so that you will get all the notification on time. So let's begin. As it's a day one, let us start with a very mild but quite effective movement. So for this, keep your both the legs hip, hip width apart from each other, spine straight, keep your hands on the waist, okay? Now, even though it looks very simple, if you do it properly, you can, you can feel your entire spine moving. So from here, inhale. Exhale, push your hip to the side, forward, side and back. So try not to move your shoulder much, focus and keep your spine straight. Try to focus and move your waist very slowly, 5-5 five, five times each side, 3, back, 2, back last one back same thing the other side side forward side back side forward side back side forward side back two more times practice with me and feel your spine moving you're going to create a big and a deeper circle with your waist. Now, the next one, keep your legs wider. Okay, three, three and a half feet apart from each other. You can keep your toe either forward. If you are comfortable, then keep it slightly outside, 45 degree. Now, lift your hands up straight, lengthen your spine. Here, it's a, it makes a lot of difference when you keep your hands relaxed versus keep your hands stiff. When you keep your hands stiff, it's going to work on your ribs as well as your spine both, which is our intention right now. So, stretch your hands up, tuck your tummy in, turn to the right side, try to lift your body how much ever you can and try to go down using the maximum capacity, completely to the side and come forward. You can see a lot of stretch. If you have a severe back pain, please avoid this for some time. If you don't have any issues, you can easily do it. Two. We're going to do this ten times. Stretch. Three. Come up. Exhale. Four. And come up. Five. Stretch and come up. Six, stretch, go down and come up. Seven, come up. Eight, down. Come up. Last two. Exhale. Nine. Feel your spine, especially when you turn from one side to another side. Exhale. Last one. When you go down, especially when you turn here, you can feel a good stretch. Same thing the other side. Take a deep breath in and exhale turn completely you can see my spine twisting this also is going to help you stretch down up two up move your toe accordingly three See, I'm turning my toe according to my comfort zone. Four. 
see turning my toe so you also do the same thing five six seven eight nine last two the last one 10 come up and relaxed now next step we are going to slightly get deeper into this movement so what we're going to do we're going to do very similar movements we'll keep our legs slightly closer to each other about two two feet apart now lift your hands up straight inhale now bend to the side drop your hand here only as if you're trying to create a circle but your hands are very closer to the body from here take your hands back circle five times two don't give a lot of forward bend it's only for the spine movement three four five You can also feel your shoulder moving. Now same thing other side, back, side, forward. One, two, three, Four, last one, five, those were the five moves, five counts, I'm sure you can feel some strong stretch in your spine for sure. Now, the next one, what we're going to do that's pretty important for you to reach Akrasan because this is going to give you a base and a very good movement for the spine. So here, first of all, you have to come to Malasan. Okay. From Malasan, you're going to take your hand slightly behind. So you're not going to keep your hand just here, which is super comfortable for you. Instead, you take your hand back where you're having a good distance okay now from here lift your body up so if you find it difficulty there's a level first you just lift only till here if you can go slightly ahead lift little more if you have the movement in your body the flexibility to already almost reach chakrasan you can lift your body completely so there are three options all of you can pick at least one so let us try this both the sides five five okay so from here take your hand back tilt inhale up exhale down come back let's try other side inhale up exhale down second round inhale up lift down 
other side inhale up down third round inhale up down other side inhale up down last two fourth round inhale up down other side inhale up down you can feel a lot in your thighs as well so don't give up the last one fifth one inhale up come down the last one inhale up and down stretch your hands breathe in breathe out now slowly sit down keep your spine straight give a deep movement to the shoulders this is just the day one where we try to give a little stretch to the spine in coming videos we'll try to work a little more deeper on the movement mobility of the shoulder as well as your spine so now try to work a little bit on the shoulder now this last one movement it is very simple just you have to push your shoulder back and down 3 4 times forward and backward opposite side but give a deep movement that's it so i'm sure you can feel bit of intensity in this practice this i'll see you tomorrow with day 2 so let's try to learn little more about chakrasan till then keep practicing and keep commenting and like liking the video all right thank you i'm also conducting online group classes if you want to practice with me regularly you can join these live sessions all the details are given in the description if you have any doubts you can reach me on instagram yoga for cure you can message me there